speakers, Peter Brooks, is a Native American activist under the historic Piscataway chiefdom. He's the grandson of the great Cab Calloway. That's why, I, that's why I wanted to introduce him. A musician from the Harlem Renaissance in the 1920s and 30s who influenced people like Nat King Cole, Michael Jackson, and Bob Marley. His great-grandfather was a president of the United Mutual Brotherhood of Liberty in Baltimore, which, founded, which was founded in the 1870s and was one of the first civil rights groups ever founded in America. Peter commits himself to the preservation, celebration, and continuation of indigenous culture and civilization in America. He can be found on Insight Timer, where he leads guided meditations and is working on a book with his mom entitled, More Than a Daughter. Peter. From the moment we were first exposed, the Powhatan in Jamestown, the Wampanoag of Massachusetts, Kittimacund of the Piscataway here in Maryland. Indigenous people have always resisted and struggled against capitalism and the ways of material people. These people who think that life is just about what you can see and touch. They are fundamentally different from us because first and foremost, we are a spiritual people. Before 1634 and the founding of Maryland, all this land was governed by the great law of peace. It reflected our spirituality. And today, everyone all over the world, as I speak, is upset because Russia invaded the Ukraine. Naked aggression against a sovereign people. Well, in 1634, they did the exact same thing to my people right here where you stand. Over and over again, nation after nation. Why? Because we are governed by the great law of peace. We are spiritual people, we're not material. Many great men have died as martyrs. People whose names will never be forgotten. Pontiac, Tecumseh, Sitting Bull, Chief Joseph, Osceola, Geronimo, Dennis Banks, Russell Meads, and now Leonard Peltier. You live in an era when you can be a part of American Indian history. Just as you cannot stand with those great men, but now you can stand with this great man. They tell me this is the Department of Justice. But I don't believe it because Leonard Peltier has never known justice in America for 46 years. So it's up to you how this history is going to play out. He is America's Nelson Mandela. And if the US Congress can give a gold medal to Nelson Mandela, then why can't you free Leonard Peltier here on your home homeland while he is suffering from COVID-19? How 
is this story going to end? In South Africa, the people had the decency to let Nelson Mandela go when he got to be an old man. America, where is your decency? You say this is a department of justice? We need a department of decency. Where is your common sense? You may not agree with me, but freeing Leonard Peltier is the only decent thing you can do after stealing all the land, interrupting our trajectory into the future, breaking all the treaties, destroying our way of life, our culture, and our history. It's the only decent thing you can do. When is enough enough? How much more blood do you need? How long will it be until you wake up? Ladies and gentlemen, the sky, the mountains, and the rivers all tell our stories. And so, I'm asking all of you who can hear my voice, how is this story going to end? It's up to you, right now, and I'm telling you, you, if you don't free Leonard Peltier, then all that is around you, in all the directions where you stand, everything you see and have touched will remember when you return into the earth. And so, I'm asking you now, give clemency to Leonard Peltier. Free Leonard Peltier. Free Mumia Abu-Jamal. Free Julian Assange. I am tired of hearing about it. Woo! Free them all. Freedom. <laughs>